Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and on this quick video, I'm going to show you a really cute butterflies and burlap idea, and then I'm going to give you some other ideas. So, who is, who, who is familiar with this kind of thing? They're little burlap pouches that you can put your silverware and a napkin in. Uh, either real silverware and a cloth napkin or plasticware and a paper napkin. Um, they're really cute for summertime. You can order these uh, like on Amazon. Uh, my friend Diane actually gave these to me. You can um, probably get them in some craft stores like Michael's and Joann's. Anyway, so I have this cute idea uh, for butterflies and burlap. And it could also extend to these little burlap banners that you can get for $1.25 at Dollar Tree in several different shapes. Um, so let me show you what that is. Okay, I am completely obsessing about these amazing new rub-on transfers from MagnoliaDIY.com. That's butterflies. This one, and I used these, you guys, this week when I was making these journals um, that I will be giving away on Sunday. So I started playing with these new rub-on transfers, and I have wanted to keep playing with them. So let me just show you what they look like, and then we're going to come back to this part. Okay, this one is called Roses. I've used some of it. This one is called Ruby Red, and I've used a good bit of it, but this is what it looks like. Um, this one is called Cream Ephemera, and I think there's two more, but these are the ones that I have. So, you can put these on a lot of different things, including on burlap, and you guys, I have a question in to Lisa Ramsey, one of the owners of Magnolia, to ask her really what are the limits on putting these rub-on transfers on fabric because this morning I made this cute little zip pouch using the red butterfly from the Ruby Red rub-on transfer and one of these little zip pouches that I had. I'm not sure if it would be washable, but it's definitely soft and it's on there firmly and I'm thinking you could do so many cute things with it. Okay, so let's jump right in and let me show you the one that I made this morning. Where is it? It's here. And let me fluff it up just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. I just grabbed these butterfly napkins just to show you. I feel like I have the full size somewhere. impossible to pick up. Okay, so anyways, let me show you. All right, and this is super easy. I'm using this line of butterflies. Whoops, I'm still getting adjusted to my camera direction. The, the, um, the white and black ones, but this would be gorgeous in the blue, the orange, the um, turquoise teal. There's lots of different uh, transfers that you could do on this kind of a project. So you're basically just going to cut your transfer out and it's going to come on this clear plastic sheet and you're going to pull this sort of, um, it looks like wax paper almost, you're going to pull that off the back and your transfer is going to be attached to the front of your little carrier sheet and I'm just going to lay it down and push it down and then this is a new tool that you can get at Magnolia and I'm going to show you how easy this is. I'm just burnishing which means rubbing on this butterfly so it will come off of the sheet that it's attached to and be solidly on this piece of burlap. You just have to really rub around the edges. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. As you're hopping on, say hello to me. 
Let me know what you guys are doing today, what you think about this. This is one of like five crafts that I would love to do today. <laughs> but I also have 10 million other personal things to do. So I had to sneak this quick one in before I run to the grocery store and take the dogs for a walk and get some stuff accomplished here at home. And then if I have time, I may come back and do another craft with you guys this afternoon. I will be live, if you're watching this on Thursday, I don't know what day it is, uh, the 7th or the 8th of June. If you're watching this live um, and you're participating in the Go For It devotional thing we're doing on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays, I will be live at 12.30 to do the devotional with you. So I'm just keeping to rub, and there we go. It's on there solidly and look how cute these will be together let's do one more and then i'll finish them all up uh, after the fact and i probably will give these away next week i'm putting my butterflies in the bottom left corner because i'm thinking about when you put it next to your plate i usually set these things and the napkins to the right uh, so it makes sense to put the transfer on that side. So I'm just pulling this back sheet off, and here's my transfer. And this is what a, an actual transfer is. How does this butterfly go? Um, this is a rub-on transfer like what you would use in scrapbooking. And it actually, you rub it on, that's why it's called a rub-on transfer. It, it goes off of this clear plastic sheet and onto your project. And this new tool is awesome. It is so much better than trying to use a craft stick or a popsicle stick to burnish these on. I'm kind of using the little corner of it um, rather than just going flat because burlap is not completely flat, you know? Make sure we get these little legs. Okay, and then you're just going to lift up a little bit. Nope, it's not ready. If you just pull it up gently, you'll be able to see that it's all off of this, and now it's on this. What do you think? Should we do one more real quick? I think we can. Okay, so let's do this last one. And when I'm finished at some point today, I will look for some sources for these little burlap uh, silverware pouches. Um, and I will share those here in these comments as well as just on DIY Dreaming. I will also get pictures, styled pictures, of this idea for you. These are so nice to work with. Oh my goodness. comments if you ever used rub-on transfers before, if you used it for paper crafting, like scrapbooking, or if you've used it on other things. My friend, Susie, who you guys see on here all the time, um, she did one of these transfers on a canvas tote, and she told me that it it's nice and soft, that it's held up great, that she thinks that she might even be able to wash it. Um, and that's what started me thinking, hmm, I need to experiment and see what all can I use these awesome rub-on transfers for. So thanks, Susie. If, if it's gonna be super durable, 
then um, I'm going to put some on those new pillow wraps that you can get at magnoliadiy.com. Oh, you can do them on ceramics for sure, but don't put those ceramics in the dishwasher. <sighs> you know, you could probably hand wash them. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so here's the set. And I have all of these butterflies left. So what do you guys think? Let me see if I can hold them up. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so at the start of this video, I showed you this. This is made, this is just a little zipper pouch that my friend Diane gave me a long time ago. Uh, Magnolia has some nice zipper pouches too. Uh, and I was just experimenting with this. Let's take one of these little ladybugs and put it on here. I love this transfer. I think it'd be cute to put that up there. So let's do that. Okay, come on. So Susie, if you were on, I would like to share your picture of your canvas tote that your sister gave you that you um, did a rub-on transfer on, if that's okay with you. Tell me if that is. I'm thinking that it probably is, but just want to make sure. These are so cool. I still love my stencils, love using stencils. But I don't know, these little rub-on transfers are pretty fun too. You can start pulling up an edge to see. Is everything on? Good. Look how adorable that is. And then I just used a little bit of ribbon. Um, a slip knot through the pole. So, so many adorable things that you can make with these transfers. Um, let me know if you would like links or if you want the supply list. It's not very long. It's, you know, burlap silverware pouches or zip, zip pouches and then the transfers and then the little transfer tool. But I can get you all that direct information. Yeah, these are no mess, Donna says. That's absolutely right. Well, these rub-on um, transfers can be permanent, relatively speaking. I would never wash this in the washing machine because the burlap would come all apart. So I could use this for a couple of seasons or a couple of occasions, and that's, you know, permanent enough. Um, but I do agree. I love the stencils because you can do so many things. All right. Well, I will hopefully see you guys later. I'll definitely be back for the devotional. And if I don't see you again today, have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. But be looking for the info from me about using these on fabric. Like, I'm super curious to know, could I put one of these on a t-shirt? Um, that's what I want to know. So I'll let you know what the answer is and I'll get pictures and let me know if you want links and I will get those right out to you. Alrighty, see you guys later.